everyone and thank you for watching today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to play Tale as Old as Time from Beauty and the Beast on your cello. This is entirely in first position and the only challenging thing that you might encounter is that I do use the C and the G strings a lot more than I use the D and the A strings. The C and the G are thicker than the D and the A, so they are a little bit harder to push down. Before we begin, I want to say two things. The first thing is that Although I do try to go very slowly so that you can understand this easily, YouTube videos do have the option to rewind, so I don't want to hear any complaining, you go too fast, because you can rewind, you can. But to save you the trouble, I will do my best to go slowly, I'll try not to go too fast, I promise. Second thing that I want to say, I do receive the occasional question from someone wondering why I do not include sheet music or if I have any sheet music available online. And my, my reason for not including sheet music with these types of videos is that whenever classical musicians are in training, a lot of emphasis is put on sight reading. You know, how fast can they uh, sight read through a piece? And that's a very, very important skill to develop, which I am all for that. I have my students do that as much as possible. However, classical musicians often neglect the ear training part of things, which is very important if you are wanting to experiment with, with genres outside of the classical tradition. So the purpose of this video, although you will be seeing my fingers, although I'll be talking and explaining about you know where they're supposed to go, really concentrate on learning this by ear. What do the notes sound like? Can you match these notes on your own instrument? And that's what I want to use these videos to focus on. So to get started, you will need to know the key that we're in. We are starting in the key of C major, which means no sharps and no flats. And the first note that we play is third finger on the C string, which is the note E. I'm going to go through this section by section. So the first one, um, that's the intro. <laughs> Let me see if I can remember the lyrics. Uh, Tale as old as time, true as it can be, uh, barely even friends, then somebody bends unexpectedly. Haha, <laughs> I did it. So that's the intro, that's what we're going to learn first. So we're going to start third finger on the C string. And we're going to go three, open G, three on the G string, fourth finger on the G string, then go across and play fourth finger on the C string. My cello is wanting to go flat because this room is really hot back here, so if it goes flat throughout the video, I apologize. So here's three, open, three, four, go across and play four here. That's the first little subphrase. Now the next little subphrase is the same thing, but at the end of it we go up instead of down. So here's the difference. That's the first one, here's the second. See how we go up to the D string instead of down to finger four on the C. So very slowly so that you can play along. Open G, B, C, F, E, G, B, C, open D. And then barely even friends. Fourth finger on the G string, C. Then we go over to open D. Finger 1 E, finger 2 F, finger 4 G, and that right there is a scale. And then the next part we're going to go down the scale. So the notes that we played going up, exact same notes coming down. And then this last little part is unexpectedly, so F. E, D, finger four on the G string, C, and then we're going to go to open G. So starting from the scale part, we go up, then back down, then we do another scale down starting with finger two on the D string, and then open G. And that's the intro. Now we're on to verse one, and it sounds pretty much exactly like the intro. So finger three again, open G, finger three on G, finger four, again, we're going across to finger four on the C string. So that's just a little change. And then this next part, small to say the least, 
again, re repeat, and then just go up to open D. Small to say the least. Now from here, this is where it changes from the intro. Instead of doing the scale part, we're gonna start with finger one on the D string, both a little scared. So one, open, one, four, that's all on the D string. Then it goes over to the G string, finger four. And then four, three, four. Finger one on the D string. Finger four on the C string. Okay, so that, that part's a little tricky. So both a little scared. One, open. One, four. Go across, play four. Neither one prepared. Four, three, four. One on the D string. Four on the C string. Back to one now on the D string. One, two, open. One, four. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna go really slowly through verse one. So just a little change. Three. Open G, three on G, four on G, four on C, three on C, open G, three on G, four on G, open D, one on D, open D, one on D, four on D, Four on G, four on G, three on G, four on G, one on D, four on C, one on D, two on D, open D, one on D, four on G. And that's verse one. Now on to this little bridge section. Ever just the same. So we're doing that same scale. Four, open, one, two, four. And then ever a surprise. Open A, G. So ever, a um, ever just the same. Ever a surprise. Ever as before. So see, we do the scale again. And then here, ever just as sure, we go down the scale. So let me do that again. Ever just the same. Ever a surprise. Ever as before. Ever just as sure. Open one, finger one, four on G, open D. The best way to learn this little section by ear is to listen to each one of these little subphrases and then copy me. So here's the first subphrase, ever just the same. So you would play that going up. And then ever a surprise. Four, three, four, open A, then four on D. So you would play that next. And then we go up the scale again. And then you would play that, and then we go down the scale. You would play that. And then as the sun will rise. Four, open, one, four, open. And here we have our key change. So instead of being in C major, we're now going to D major, and that has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, which means we're gonna be playing an extended position on the C string and on the G string. So if you don't know what extended position is, I do have a tutorial on that somewhere, but basically it's a whole step between finger one and finger two, and another whole step between finger two and finger four. So starting now on F sharp on the C string, here is verse two. Tale as old as time, tune as old as song. 
So extended four, finger one on the G string. Extend four again, but this time on the G string. Open D. Open G. So this is just like the first part where it repeats twice. The first time goes down, the second time goes up. So that time we just went down. Then the next time, the next time we go up. So same thing, but we're gonna go up to finger one on the D string, which is E. This next part is bittersweet and strange. So that's just a scale. D, E, F sharp, G, and open A. Then we go down the scale. You notice the pattern here. Sorry, I, I got the music. I put it over there. That's what I'm looking at. So, uh, bittersweet and strange. Finding you can change. And then learning you are wrong is finger four, three, one, open. Finger one on the G string, A. And then here's the last verse. So certain as the sun, F sharp, A, C sharp, open D, open G. Repeat that, but this time go up, finger one on E. And then tail as old as time. That's three, one, three, open A, open D, open D. Extended fourth finger on the G string, back up to open D, finger three on F sharp, and then open G. So D, C sharp, D, F sharp, open G. And then the last part of this is Beauty and the Beast. So F sharp, G, E, F sharp, D. Three, four, one, three, open. So now I'm gonna go through the whole song again, play it really, really slowly so that you can play along with me. As I'm pretty sure everyone knows by now, I cannot keep a steady tempo, so I'm probably gonna rush, but I'm gonna do my best to stay slow. Go up. To open D. Scale. start from F here and go down the scale again and then end on open G that's the intro here's verse one starts just like the intro go up again to open D this is where it changes. That's verse one. Here's bridge. your scale going up. Open A. We're going to go up the scale again. We're going to go down the scale. And then as the sun will rise. That's the end of the bridge. Now we have the key change into D major. Start on extended fourth finger on the C string. Repeat that. Four, one, four, open, one on E. And then 
the scale going up. Don't forget your F sharp here. Don't play finger two, that's an F natural. Go down the scale. Then we're going down a scale again, but we're starting fourth finger on the D string. And then land on finger one on the G string. And then here's the last section, certain as the sun. Again, we have extended fourth finger, finger one, and then extended fourth finger again. E. Tail is all this time. Open D, extend four, back up to D, finger three, and then here we go to open G, and then Beauty and the Beast, the very last part, finger three, four, one, three, D. I hope that made sense. I really hope I went slowly enough. If you have any questions or comments, please put that in the comment section below. I do hope that today's video helped and that this can provide you with some good ear training material. As always, love what you do, practice well, share it with others. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week's video.